Hi everyone, welcome back. It is Thursday. Welcome to Teacher Loretta's group time. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit more about Earth Day, which was yesterday. So I have a book called Why Should I Recycle? And then I have another book about feelings. This book is by Dolly Parton. It's called I Am a Rainbow. So we have a rainbow of feelings and we have doggy of course so let's get started here we are together 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 here we are together at teacher loretta's group time where your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends here we are together at Teacher Loretta's group time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Pecan also says hello, our um, pet bird. She's a love bird. Many of you have met her if you've been in my class. And we have Puppy here. Hi, Puppy. Ruff, 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 ruff. Puppy, ha or pu yeah, Puppy has a doggy. Why am I calling him Puppy? Doggy has a letter for us. So on the count of three, help me sing. One two, three. Doggy, doggy, doggy has a letter for you. Let's open his mouth and we'll see what's inside. Doggy, doggy, doggy has a letter for you. So this is the letter U. The letter U is a vowel. And if you remember what we learned about vowels, Vowels say their name. So the long vowel says their name, which is a U or an U. And like United States, where we live. Short vowel sound for the letter U is an uh, uh. So today for our song, we're gonna do the uh sound. The U says uh, the U says uh. Every letter makes a sound. The U says uh, or you. All right, doggy. Oh, he wants to tell me something. What? He said he missed you guys yesterday and he's glad to be back today. We missed you too, doggy. All right. So here's a map for those readers out there. Can you read what this says? It says the United States. So it made the long U sound. This one's funny. All right, so this probably goes on like a little doll and it's underwear, underwear. And here's another long U sound, a unicorn, a unicorn. Okay, what else do we have in here? All right, this is all folded up, but I think you can tell what it is. An umbrella, umbrella. Lots of little treasures in here, doggy. <laughs> okay, this is an umpire. This is someone in baseball who calls the plays. So he's an umpire. All right, and here we have the uppercase U and the lowercase. And again, they're very similar. You can see that the U just circles around and the lowercase U has a line on the side. So let me show you how we write it. All right, uppercase U first. So we start at the top, circle down and make a curve and come back up again. So there's our uppercase. And then our lowercase, we, whoops, we make the same, we go down, back up, and then we give it a little bit of a sideline. There's an uppercase and a lowercase, yay! 
All right, friends, our first book today is I Am a Rainbow. What do you think this book is gonna be about? Can you tell? Definitely rainbow, so colors. There's some kids on the front. Let's find out. Colors make up our whole world, everything we say and do. But did you know each boy and girl is made of colors too? Hmm, I didn't really know that. When I'm tickled pink, it means I'm feeling dandy. Everything is great, as sweet as cotton candy. That would be pretty sweet, actually. So you can see on her face, she looks really happy. And she's eating cotton candy. Clever. But guess what happens when my sister pulls my hair? Then I turn red. I'm as angry as a bear. Oh dear, look at his face. He does look angry. We don't like it when we get our hair pulled, right? That would make me feel angry too. If mommy says time out, I pout for a minute or two. Then I get bored and sad and feel kind of blue. Kind of blue. Blue kind of just means sad, maybe sorrowful. Sometimes I get jealous. Then I'm feeling green. That happens when I'm left out of a happy scene. So it looks like maybe his friend's having a birthday. And this friend over here is feeling a little bit jealous. We've talked a little bit about jealousy before. It's a hard feeling, isn't it? When I'm feeling scared, kids call me yellow, but I can find my courage and be a brave fellow. Yeah, remember we talked about what it means to be brave. It's doing hard things, something that might scare you, but you do it anyway. That's what being brave is or having courage. When we all play together, it makes me feel so cozy. My mood is joyful and everything is rosy. See their smiles on their faces? They're playing instruments together. Maybe they're in a little home band together. So remember as you go from hue to hue that each and every person has feelings too. And I see some fun butterflies up here. It's not always up to you the way that you feel. Look, there's all kinds of feelings here. This reminds me of our emotion chart that we made. But how you act is a different deal. This is true, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be mad, but it's not okay to yell or scream or hurt someone. So be a rainbow, shine above, and filter all your glow through love. It's nature's way, these colors you show. So simply say, I am a rainbow. Yep, look at all those colors. All right, let's shake out those hands, wiggle those shoulders, roll the head. Let's get nice and loose here. All right, we're gonna clap, clap, clap your hands as slowly as you can. Clap, clap, clap your hands as quickly as you can. Rub, rub. Rub your hands as slowly as you can. Rub, rub, rub your hands as slowly as you can. Shake, shake, shake your hands as slowly as you can. Shake, shake, shake your hands as quickly as you can. Wave, wave, wave your hands as slowly as you can. Wave, wave, wave your hands as quickly as you can. All right, get out your fire truck. This is the big steering wheel. Some of you may know this already. All right, gotta roll up my sleeves here, ready? I have a big steering wheel. Because fire trucks are big, right? 
The song is about a fire truck that goes and puts out a fire. So do it along with me if you can, okay? Big steering wheel, it goes like this. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, find the fire. Hurry, hurry, find the fire. Hurry, hurry, find the fire. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. All right, get out your fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Ding, 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 ding. Slowly, slowly drive the fire truck. Slowly, slowly drive the fire truck. Slowly, slowly drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. All right, they put out the fire and they just got to drive nice and slowly on the way home. We have a book today called, Why Should I Recycle? And many of you have probably heard your grown-ups talk about recycling. You might even have a separate garbage can at home that has recycling in it. And I wonder if you know why we recycle. Let's find out. In my family, we recycle our garbage. We return things so they can be used again. We didn't always recycle. We used to throw everything away. On our way to school, we always pass Mr. Jones's house. Mr. Jones is our teacher. One day, we saw him putting a special box with cans, bottles, and papers by the gate. She says, what are you doing? See his box of things up there? Hmm, what do you think he's doing with that? This box is for recycling. All these things are taken away and used again, said Mr. Jones. Hmm, recycling? What's recycling? Mr. Jones says, I'll explain at school. That'd be fun to walk by your teacher's house every day, wouldn't it? In class, Mr. Jones asked us what we did with our trash. This little girl says, we put it in the garbage can. This little boy says, it's just old garbage. Mr. Jones said garbage contained lots of useful things that can be recycled or used again. Why should I recycle? Hmm. Mr. Jones took the class to a recycling center. It had separate containers for bottles, cans, plastic, clothes, and paper. Wow, that's a big center. What do you think happens to all the glass that goes in here? Asked Mr. Jones. They get melted down to make new... Sorry, I skipped a page. It all gets broken down to make new shiny bottles. And guess what happens to all the cans that go in here? Asked Mr. Jones. They get melted down to make new metal things such as bikes and scooters. Look, they all say, wow, I didn't know that. And what about the paper and plastic that go in here? Asked Mr. Jones. Look at that big pile of paper over here. That's a lot of newspaper, isn't it? The paper gets shredded and used to make new books and comics. All these things come from garbage we just throw away, they're asking. This plastic can be used to make all kinds of things, including clothes. You might be wearing some, said Mr. Jones. So they're saying, so why waste waste? Why are we wasting things? Why are we wasting even the garbage? Most of the garbage we put in the trash can gets buried in dumps that spoil the countryside. 
It's good to recycle as much as you can, said Mr. Jones. So what else can you recycle? Hmm, that's a good question, isn't it? Look, she's pinching her nose because the, the dump is really stinky. She's pinching her nose. She's saying, pee-wee, that stinks, and the bugs are flying around. Clothes, books, and toys that you don't want can all be taken to a second-hand store, explained Mr. Jones. The food we buy at supermarkets comes in packages that we can often use again. This, this little girl's telling her mom, don't waste, mom. She wants to save that and recycle it. Look, she's in her mind, she's thinking in this thinking bubble. She's thinking she can use this for a planter and plant some flowers. I told mom and dad about our trip to the recycling center. Now we buy recycled things at the store. Recycled paper helps save trees. Yep. We also recycle the plastic bags too. We brought our own bags, thanks. Some of your grown-ups might have their own bags too, reusable bags now that the grocery stores charge for plastic bags and paper bags. We also recycle everything at home. Fruit and vegetable peelings get recycled in our new compost heap. Look, he's dumping some scraps into the composter. The compost helps my mom's prize vegetables grow. Some of you that are in my preschool class this year, you guys learned about composting last year with teacher Sarah and teacher Carla. Do you remember that? Do you remember the composting bins that you guys had? Now we recycle so much garbage, there's hardly any left to put in the can. Look, it's almost empty. Recycling is kind to nature. It saves money and it's fun. So what are some things that we learned that we can recycle? We can recycle plastic bags and glass bottles, and we can reuse some types of food containers and let's see, what else did they say we could do? We could take our toys and our clothes to secondhand stores. Um, there's a popular one here in our area, it's called the Goodwill, where you can take your donations and then they sell it to other people. There are secondhand stores that you can take your things to. So let's be good to our earth and let's recycle. And our activity today, I don't have a sample because what I was hoping you guys would do is ask your grown-ups if they have any scraps. Hopefully it's not recycling day. Um, although ours is on Mondays. Um, and you can make an art craft. So maybe ask if they have any recycling boxes, toilet paper tubes, paper towel tubes. You can tape them or glue them and then you can paint them or color them, put some googly eyes on them and just create something new out of something old. So that's called recycling. So that's it. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Thank you for joining and have a good afternoon. See you later, alligator. Goodbye, crocodile. We'll see you on Friday, so wear a big smile. All right, my friends, have a great afternoon. Bye.